Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat One. I got quite a haul this Easter, and I can't wait to share it with you today. This video came out so long, it's possibly my longest video ever. And by the way, some update on my channel. This week I'll be posting every day for the rest of the week. And in the next month, I'll be posting more than twice a week. So keep checking my channel for new videos. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you should definitely subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. But now let's get to the haul. As you can see, I got all the new historical items. There are three pajama sets and two new Nenea sets, plus Nenea's dog, and three of the newest pets. I'm super excited to open the purple kitty. I'm gonna start with the historical pajamas. We got three new historical pajamas. They belong to Nenea, Mary Ellen, and Melody. Each one retails at $34. I'm gonna start with Mary Ellen's pajamas. They look very different from her first pajamas. The color scheme is blue and pink on these and they have ducks in pattern. Look how adorable the puppies are. The fabric feels like cotton. Overall, right now this feels like a very good quality set. I like the fabric, the buttons are real, the details are stitched very nicely. The pockets are real and the buttons can be unbuttoned. It's not just a Velcro. And like I mentioned before, the pattern on the fabric is very cute. The pants are also super adorable. I like the bow details on the sides. I think they did a really good job with this set. Super cute. The slippers are kind of simple, but also cute. They're made out of kind of a suede fabric. I know it's not real suede, but it kind of feels like it. It also feels kind of like fabric. It's hard to explain, but it feels soft and it's pretty. All the three historical pajamas come with booklets and I'm really happy about it. I know Pleasant Company and Early American Girl used to do that a lot. I think it's a great way to get more illustrations and additional information about the characters. I like that we get to see Mary Ellen's bedroom, it looks very cute. I wonder if American Girl is actually planning on making the furniture. They already made some of the accessories in this picture. Like the lamp, the roller skates, the blanket, even the plush dog. This is everything that came in this box and I highly recommend the set. I think I prefer Mary Ellen's first pajamas, but this is really cute too. Next, I'm going to open Melody's pajamas. Right out of the box, the fabric feels very nice, or a cotton blend. I like all the details on the collar, they're very well made. The buttons are real and the pockets are real, just like on Mary Ellen's pajamas. The 
pants are made out of the matching fabric. They have this detail in the middle of each leg. I'm guessing it's historically accurate, but I can't guarantee it 100%. I think the slippers are super adorable. They're made out of fabric, even the soles. Look at the stitching on the side, so cute. And of course, I love the pom-poms. This set also comes with ribbons. I think that's a good addition. This is the only new pajama set that comes with both ribbons and slippers. Melody's booklet. This is everything that came in the box. Awesome set, highly recommend it. Since we don't have Melody, McKenna decided to model these pajamas. I think she looks amazing in them. Now let's take a look at Nenea's new pajamas. I really like the color scheme. It reminds me of the ocean. The pajamas are really cute, but I'm not super impressed with the fabric. I think it's rayon, and I don't understand why they couldn't have used cotton. But other than that, this set is the cutest of the three. The pattern's super pretty, and there's a lot of little details. There are even some bows on the sleeves. The buttons work and the pockets are real. I love literally everything about the design of these pajamas. Minus the fabric quality. floral print especially tropical and this tropical floral print is just gorgeous the pants are cute and i absolutely wish that this set came with slippers I feel like slippers are definitely missing here. American Girl's probably gonna say you don't need slippers in Hawaii because it's warm. Or maybe it's historically accurate. I don't know. But I would have loved some slippers. I'm happy it comes with this ribbon. And it's super easy to use it. You don't even need to tie the bow. Let's take a look at the booklet.
came in the box, so I'm super happy we bought it. And it looks beautiful on Nenea. What do you guys think? Which of the three pajamas are your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. Next up is Nenea's two-piece swimsuit. It retails at $32. Nenea already had a swimsuit. This is what the first one looked like. In case you don't remember. Let's open this swim set. The fabric doesn't really feel like swimsuit fabric. Maybe that's what it was like in the 1940s. The top is really super cute. I can definitely see it as just a top and not a swimsuit top. The quality is really good, everything is aligned. The shorts are super adorable. They can definitely be worn as shorts and not a swimsuit. Now let's take a look at the towel. I think it's the same pattern as Nenea's first swimsuit, just a different color. I kind of think it's too matchy-matchy with the bathing suit. Everything is red. Maybe they should have done it with a more contrasting color. Guys, I really like these shoes. They feel like such good quality and they are so cute. I can see them with so many other outfits. Of course, the tag is very annoying. I don't understand why American Girl is doing it. I'm definitely cutting the tag off. I mean, look at all the details on these shoes. They're really well made. This is what Nenea looks like in this outfit. She can definitely go to the beach or she can wear it as a regular outfit. It works both ways. Next, I'm gonna open this set. It's called Nenea's Beach Accessories and it retails at $55. It is surprisingly huge. It's definitely longer than 18 inches. When I opened it, I realized it had a lot of packing so that the surfboard doesn't get damaged. I think they did a really good job on this one because the edges of the surfboard can get damaged easily. First off, you can see right away that the surfboard is brown and not red. And I think this is more historically accurate. When we went to Hawaii, we saw some old surfboards that are just brown. It's the natural color of the wood. This set comes with the same booklet as Nenea's swimsuit. So I'm not gonna show it. It's exactly the same. It also comes with a cone of shaved ice. The cone and the ice are two separate pieces. This is what it looks like up close. Here are the sunglasses that came in this set. They definitely give out retro vibes. The color is kind of neon salmon pink. Here's the Hawaiian shirt. I think it looks so cool. I love the Hawaiian print. The shirt looks really awesome. It's not overly girly, so your boys can wear it too. Unfortunately, it's also made out of rayon. Now let's take a look at the surfboard. This is probably why the set is so expensive. The surfboard is pretty long and detailed. And get this, it's made out of real wood. You can definitely feel the quality of it. Let 
Like I said before, there are some color variations compared to the promo pictures. So the surfboard is brown and not red. The sunglasses are salmon pink and not red. And the shaped ice has three colors, red, yellow, and orange. On the promo pictures, it's just red and yellow. This is what the set looks like together with the swimsuit set. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm glad American Girl is making new items for Nenea. We were scared last year that she was being cubed, but it looks like she's not. This makes me very happy. She's my favorite historical character. Now she also got a new version of her dog. Nenea's dog's name is Mele, which means song in Hawaiian. This Mele retails at $26. By the way, I have the first version of Mele, so I'm definitely going to compare the two. I wonder which one I like better. This pet looks pretty shabby out of the box. I think she needs a little bit of grooming. I'm going to move the fur around the eyes a little bit to make them more visible. This is what she looked like after I fixed her up. As you can see, the eyes are shiny plastic. She even got a blue bow. And by the way, I'm probably going to trim some fur around her eyes and nose. American Girl used to trim the fur around coconut. Here are both of Melly's together. The first version had embroidered eyes and differently shaped nose and ears. Honestly, I'm not sure which one I like better. Which one do you guys prefer? Please let me know in the comments. Here are the last three items in my haul. These are new pets. So here are the new and updated Coconut Chip and Licorice Twist. There's also a new pet called Purpley Pink Kitty. As you can see, their boxes are kind of shaped like dog houses. And there are instructions on the back of each box how to turn them into a dog house. Each of these pets comes with a magnetic toy and costs $30. I'm gonna start with Coconut Chip, the updated version of Coconut. He's supposed to be a West Terrier or a Westie. American Girl used to have an amazing collection for Coconut and I'm super glad they're bringing him back. Hopefully there will be more accessories to come with Coconut. Here are the instructions how to turn the box into a pet house. Here's our coconut chip. He might look a little bit disheveled, but the fur is very cute. It's super soft. You might have to work around his eyes a little bit and around his nose too. The result is worth the work. Look how adorable he looks. the American Girl logo on his paw. The tail is super soft and not poseable. The head can move around but it can't stay in that position. The legs are poseable and they do stay in different positions. Here I'm going to try and make coconut sit. This is the best I can do. I think it looks pretty cute. coconut chip compared to the old coconut. As much as I like the new one, I definitely love the original version. I don't know what it is, but the original coconut's face is just so cute. 
And by the way, I'm thinking of making a video comparing original Coca Dut and Licorice and their new versions. Please let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. Just drop me a comment below either way. And here's the newspaper, which is Coconut Chip's accessory. It is magnetic, so he can kind of carry it in his mouth. It goes like this. Looks pretty realistic. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to show you how to turn the box into a pet house. We're going to cut along this line. Now we just cut it out. And there's still those white pieces sticking out. We're going to cut them too. That's it. Now you got yourself a pet house. Coconut chip is kind of on the big side, so he barely fits in there. But I think it's a really cute idea. I'm probably gonna make a video how to style this pet house in three different styles. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that video made. Look how perfectly this house fits the original coconut. Perfect sizing. He can even nap there. The next pet is Licorice Twist. The original version was called Licorice. super soft, just as Coconut Chip. It looks like it's the same pattern as all other American Girl cats. I'm gonna compare her to my Himalayan kitty. It's really hard to see, but her eyes are blue on the outside and black in the middle. are also poseable, just like Coconut Chip. And her tail's not really poseable. Here's the new licorice compared to my Himalayan kitty, which I got a couple years ago. I think it's safe to say they're almost identical except for the coloring. Okay. Here's the new licorice twist compared to the original licorice. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. I definitely like the original version better. She just looks so much cuter to me. And I like the cat eye pupils. And I also like that her eyes are green. Here's the magnetic toy that comes with the licorice twist. is right under her chin and it looks kind of weird because that's not where her mouth is. The last item I'm going to be reviewing today is this purpley pink kitty. This is the item I'm most excited about today. This kitty kind of reminds me of a rainbow cat or maybe even a rainbow unicorn cat. I'm really considering making this my channel's mascot. Please let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea. I think I'm gonna craft a unicorn horn and attach it to this kitty's head. This way it can be an actual rainbow unicorn cat. I can't wait, I'm super excited to open the set. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. I like the colors, they're so pretty. 
course I need to fix up the fur a little bit. Get it out of the kitty's eyes. But look how adorable she is. I love her. So cute. I'm super glad that I bought her. The moment I saw her in the lakes, I knew I was going to get her. She's articulated the exact same way as Coconut Chip. Here's her toy, which is yarn. I like this nice turquoise color. By the way, the kitty itself has some purple, pink, and turquoise on her. The magnetic toy attaches a little bit too low, but I still think it's really cute. No regrets buying it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please press the like button. And please let me know in the comments if this video was too long and I should have split it into two parts. Also, let me know if you prefer longer videos. Your feedback is very important for my channel. I definitely take everything you guys suggest into consideration. Don't forget, this week I'll be posting every day. And if you're not subscribed yet, please press the subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. We usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but this week we'll be posting every day. Thanks for watching and see you next time!